Oh, good morning, fellas. How's it going? Uh, this is a very impromptu, uh, unexpected SGC blind reveal. Uh, where are we here? Yeah, okay. Uh, as always, done through my group submitter, Bubbles and Ball Cards. Uh, fantastic group. Wonderful bunch. I enjoy using their service very much. Um, yeah, uh, and this kind of came back a little sooner than uh, I wasn't really expecting. I kind of forgot about it, and then uh, it just like showed up. So excellent, awesome. Uh, this was I put out a little video the other day or whatever that was. I could probably. I don't even know. Ah, you know what? I'm not even going to talk anymore. I'm just going to show some cards. I don't have a ton of time. I'm heading off to work. So uh, I want to get this done. Uh, so here we go. Uh, this is a uh, 2017-18 Upper Deck. Alex DeBrincat, Young Guns. Uh, I think I mentioned when I did the video for sending these off, I just had some packs uh, kind of squirreled away. I try to Whenever I have a little extra cash or if something I see something that kind of tickles my fancy, I buy some I'll buy some wax and some sealed product and kind of stick it away and then with the thoughts of keeping it forever, <laughs> what usually happens is I'll go a very long time without ripping wax and then all of a sudden I get this itch. <laughs> I end up opening a bunch of stuff. So I had a bunch of upper deck blister packs uh, and they had some they had older uh, hockey packs in there. I pulled a Alex DeBrincat, Young Guns. Um, ba, ba, ba. This one looked really good. It was centering. It was a there was a centering issue, uh, but I because everything else, I think, uh, man, I am ill prepared for this. Uh, my prediction was a nine to nine five, and that was basically because of centering. Because I think. Everything else on this, I don't think there was any like little white dots on the corners or anything else. It came out of the pack very nice. Upper deck, I will say, upper deck, the QC, the quality of the cards that come out of upper deck packs uh, compared to Tops or Panini or anything else uh, is head and shoulders. Head and shoulders above because these were, these were very, very nice. Um, so it's been graded by SGC 56 times. It has a 35.7% gem rate as, a pair, as opposed to PSA, which is over 50%, 51 um, there is one gold label 10. This is, this is not that. I think this was, a, this was a centering. Mine was, I was hoping for between a nine and a nine five. Um, it all depend on how hard they hammered me for centering. Cause I did not see anything else. There was no dimples. There was no surface marks. Uh, the edges, corners, everything was good. It was just centering. So we got a, uh, a nine. Yeah, that's, uh, uh, SGC is hard on centering and that was, that was my concern with this card. So, um, yeah, right in line, nine to nine, five, what I was expecting. That's what I like. I don't like to be blindsided with, uh, crazy grades. Like if you've watched my other videos with PSA, um, the grading company did not be named anymore because <clears throat> I don't really feel like using them. This uh, will also came out of the, one of those blister packs. This is a 2016 upper deck Connor McDavid canvas card. So this is his second year. Um, just kind of pulled this one and this one had, was also the same. Like it's uh, these canvas cards, 83.3 <laughs> and 84% gem rates on these things. They come out of the packs incredibly nice and this one was exactly the same thing uh corners edges every, everything was i was like whoa like this is it's perfect except for when i of course when i looked looked it up the centering so i predicted a nine to nine point five so i am very confident uh in saying that this is going to be one of the four nine point fives unfortunately like how come you you know i get two perfect perfect condition cards and then they're just centered like shit so uh, no, what the, oh, it's got the 10. Holy cow. I did not expect that. I was expecting 
a 9 or a 9.5, and they bumped me up the half to a 10. What the heck, SGC? How come I couldn't get the gold label? Uh, no, I will, uh, I will take a, I know from what I could see, the centering for the 10s seemed to be, you can see on this side on the boards there, there's, uh, like half an, half an S. It was just, it would show the whole S. So that's, that's why I thought I was like, yeah, I'd be, I'd be happy with a nine five, but, uh, they gave me the 10. So there you go. That was my range. And there you go. I squeaked out the 10 somehow, not really sure, but I, you know what, I'll take it. I don't know, I live uh, in the Edmonton area, so Connor McDavid stuff, um, I don't know, I have a few of his rookies and things. I don't really have a whole lot of incentive to sell that stuff. I like, uh, it's Connor, I'll just keep it. Uh, this is, what the frickin', come on, come on. Uh, 1994 Flair Annual uh, Power. This is the Power Blast Parallels. Good Lord, what the hell is going on here? Uh, da, 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 one of my favorite parallel insert sets. Uh, da, da, da. ten and a half percent, fourteen. This one. This was a. This one, the centering and stuff was quite nice, but I put it in the other video when I sent it off that there was at this corner, this tiny bit of, like it looks kind of like a white spot at the corner, but it's not. It's actually like extra paper. There was like a little bump, like it just wasn't cleanly cut. So there was like a little bump of extra paper on the edge that I just very, very gently kind of caressed and kind of got it so that it wasn't, because it was actually sticking up quite a bit. Um, which is, of course, there's always something. There's always something. It's a ninety. It's a card from '94. Uh, you know, graded by SDC 19 times, PSA 43, um, and there's always something. They're a thicker card. They're prone to dents and things like that. I didn't really see. I didn't see anything else besides that one little dot on the corner. The front and the back was nice. The the foil on it was really good. So I predicted a nine to a 9 to 9.5, and we got a 9. Yep, yeah, that's uh, that's fair. That's kind of what I was thinking, that uh, that corner was going to be an issue. I fixed it as much as I could, kind of smoothed it down and stuff, but there's, I don't know if you can still see, like there's still a little bit of extra paper there. I just couldn't get rid of. I couldn't uh, smooth it down enough. So fair grade. I'm okay with that. Uh, this was the only card... Well, besides the McDavid canvas, apparently. This is the only card that I was really like, this This card should get a 10. And it has a pretty hard, for a, for a 93 card, uh, it has an awfully high gem rate from both SGC and PSA. PSA is almost 40%. 39.1 39 and 22.7% gem rates. Uh, but this card, I predicted a 10 because it was beautiful. All the corners. Although, you know, why does this always happen? Is that a, is there a white dot on that corner? No. There's no white dot on that corner. This card was very nicely centered, very nicely the the condition, the shape, everything was was really really good on that. Now that that stinking corner is really is that white or is that just like holy shit? All right, whatever, I predicted the 10. <laughs> now I'm not so confident. A 9! Oh, my God. Uh, uh. I predict cards that get 9 to 9.5s, that get 10s. I predict a 10, it gets a 9. I don't know, man. I am getting less and less confident in my grading all the time. I got the crap beat out of me on the PSA submission. And now the SGC stuff, which I is usually pretty good, is uh, kind of all over the place. All right. Well, uh, that was it. Four cards. Uh, it was a quick one. So uh, that's about all we got. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Peace.